Hey guys, this is CoreCat13. I'm a one with the deep voice, and we are playing Super Mario RPG last time. Cutscenes, cutscenes, cutscenes. God help us. And in this episode, or should I say this episode, it's time to head to Seaside Town. AKA Prototype Miami. Let's go! Oh, the unhappy music is playing. I don't like that. That could only mean that shenanigans are afoot. Hmm. Let's see here. This looks like an important house. Let me go here. Uh, why do you look like Papa Smurf? Sir, are, are you okay? I think we need to get you some skin something. Uh, you really need to go to a doctor is what I'm saying. You are not getting enough blood flow to your face. Finally, it took you long enough. I am the elder of this village. Yeah, I can tell. I mean, I did just call you Papa's for silence. Yeah, I got to my exalted station in life by uh, <clears throat> pleasing my superiors, which is something I do well. Hold on, you are hiding something, aren't you? Yes, silence. A star has fallen into the ocean. I need it for a certain purpose. You must find it for me. Well, okay then, since an old man said so. And old men are to be trusted. Let's talk to this frog. Hello there, Mario. Do you remember me? We met at Tadpole Pond when I was still a tadpole. No, I don't actually. But I do like your outfit. You look very spiffy. I graduated from Frogfuscious' school. And now, I'm searching for the meaning of life. Yeah, good luck with that. I've been trying for 25 years. It's been so quiet around here. It's almost eerie. Is something going on? Oh, <laughs> more than you know. It probably doesn't concern me. But if you have any frog coins, I got some neat items. All right. Now that is what I'm talking about. All right. Now this guy is actually a pretty awesome shop. He sells this item, which will allow you to run away from a battle instantly. This one, which will let you restart a battle. This one will increase your EXP twofold. This one will double your coins, which who cares? And this is probably the most important one. This one will cut FP cost in half. I unfortunately don't have enough frog coins for that, but hey. At least he's offering. I suddenly have an eye booker. I don't know where the hell that came from. Ugh. Don't you just hate it when eye boogers happen? <clears throat> anyway, so I hope you guys are doing okay today. Today is the 13th of February when I'm recording this. You guys will probably be getting this on Wednesday, so it'll be Valentine's Day. So I hope you guys are doing something fun with your significant other, others, or just by yourself. Because, you know, it's also International Single Awareness Day. I found I found that out about five years ago, and well, I think that's just pretty neat. Same day that happens to be all about romance and stuff is also about, you know, making sure that even single people are happy. Let's go ahead and save, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and save over this data, too, because Lord knows I'm not going to re-record this crap, so. Oh, boy. Yeah, sorry about uh, yesterday's commentary, by the way. I honestly have no idea what got into me. It really is just like any time it's like a commentary-heavy episode or just like a dialogue-heavy episode, I always find it kind of hard to just... Focus. It's very difficult for me. I also got a pee all of a sudden. I don't know where that came from. Also, Han, I need you to wake up. 
Hello there, sir. Why are you living in the bottom of the ocean? This concerns me. Been a while since people came around here. You kind of remind me of Merlon from Paper Mario. I wonder if you're the same species. Actually, it's confirmed that he is. Fun fact. Um, these guys are actually the only enemies in Super Mario RPG that actually carried over into Paper Mario. At least for a while. Who knows? Perhaps um, uh, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door will uh, make it so that these guys will show up again. More regularly. I would like that. Let's go ahead and buy up some items real fast. Weapons. Let's see here. Mallow. Yes, let's go ahead and equip the Womp Glove. The Handgun. Gino is well overdue for a weapon. And the Hurley Glove for good old Bowser. Not really interested in any attack items, so... Or, should I say armor items? How would you say that? Is it just armor? I guess it would be. Hmm, let's say box. Not really interested in that. I mean, I did just save, so... Anyhow. Ooh, look at these enemies. Too bad they're about to die. <laughs> Die! All shall fall to the great and powerful Mario. All shall fall. Gwahahaha. Goodbye. Surprised I got two level ups off that. Mario has reached level 12. Excellent. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, let's go ahead and improve attack a little bit. Yeah! Mario Sespondo has leveled up. I think that's appropriate. Mario and Bowser leveled up. That's pretty sweet. Oh, look at that. Princess Peach leveled up, too. Let's go ahead and improve her HP a little bit. Because she actually starts off pretty bad, so... Yeah, we don't want her dying. Hmm. Well, I do feel kind of bad that we didn't battle them. We just kind of killed them. Let's go ahead and battle one. Alright. Hello. Another pellet swap. Meet Zeostar. Do I know what Zeo means? Not really, but do I care? Not really. They're basically just Star Slap 2.0. Not really a whole lot to say about that. A little bit more each. Whoa! Poor Princess Peach, good lord! This is only like her second or third fight and she already died! Fuck him up. That's what he gets for hurting the princess. Little bastard. Anyway, as I was saying, this guy is basically just a slightly more advanced version of the um, Star Slap. He'll kick you in the balls, or pussy in Peach's case. And he also has a habit of healing himself and his partners. Sometimes for a lot of HP, which is annoying. So yeah, just keep an eye on that. Um, that these guys are not really that interesting. I just figured I'd show them off because they were a new enemy and they seemed fun. Also, I think the green is quite appealing. Love how Mario moves a little slower when he's underwater. It's just so neat. It's a neat attention to detail. Also, we got our first Max Mushroom. Max Mushrooms will do exactly that. Heal you for every bit of your HP. It's pretty awesome. Now it's time for bloopers. Hello there. Ah, look at that. We got another palette swap. I don't like palette swaps. They need to die. Now bloopers, on the other hand, are not palette swaps. So they get to live. You hear me? You get to live. <sighs> Deep breaths. Remember kids, breathing is good. <laughs> Especially when you're going into deep underwater ships. And facing off new enemies. All right. That thing is a Greeper. 
These things are pretty damn annoying. They love attacking you with magic. Their favorite being the diamond saw. And anything that happens to involve... Well... Fear, fear, fear. Right. Sorry, I literally forgot it, like, for a split second, even though I literally had it in my head, like, literally the second before. Isn't that annoying? I hate when that happens. Oh yeah, I should mention another palette swap. Not him. Because Reacher is brand new. But Strawhead, he's another palette swap. Not really a whole lot to say about him. No, I don't want to participate in your dumb minigame. But I will let Mallow level up, because Mallow is important. Oh man, Mallow's getting a good spike in attack. You know what? That inspired me. I don't know why I did that. Let's go ahead and exchange Gino for Mallow. Because, to be honest, Mallow hasn't really been getting any action, which is really sad. See, the wake-up pen. Let's go ahead and give Mallow the booster charm. Because I think it's worth it. Again, we haven't really seen Mallow in a while, and I feel bad. Because Mallow's pretty cool. Plus, we get to see his new weapon, the Womp Glove. Now, you may be asking yourself, why are these things not going down no matter how many physical attacks I land on them. Well, there's a reason for that. Dry bones actually are immune to physical attacks. However, however, um, they are especially vulnerable to magic attacks, such as a jump. It really doesn't matter what you use. As long as it's magic, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and use Shocker, shall we? Oh, apparently their weakness is electricity. I did not know that. Now, the thing about Dry Bones that's a little bit irritating is that they will stay on the battlefield no matter what. So just keep that in mind when you're battling those fucking bastards. Also, more pallet swaps. Hooray! I know, what everybody wanted to see. Palette Swap Central. Might be the name of this episode, Palette Swap Central. Look at these rats. They don't know. They're just kind of chilling out. They're just enjoying their life. I don't need to bother with you bastards. Because I already know what the combo is. Do you? Excuse me, sir, I'm gonna sneak past you. Yeah, really not the only thing you really need to do is this one. That's only because it provides you with a HP up mushroom. Lexo. Grab this, and it will reveal the last... Well, two of the last three letters. But... I already know this one by memory, so I don't care. They didn't even bother changing it for the remake. I say your password, sir, is pearls. You really need to change the locks. Well, I see absolutely nothing wrong with that. Alrighty, battle time! Last time... I battled these bastards. I was using Gino. This ought to be a real challenge because we have a princess here. Although, good job, princess. You actually did some nice damage to these guys. Though I gotta admit, my defense game is pretty bad today. But because they're an underwater enemy, their vulnerability is to electricity, so use that to your advantage. Mm. Get out of here. Ooh, poor Mallow. 
Yeah, honestly, if I was thrown around by a tentacle, I probably would be scared for my life, too. Looks like Mario's the one doing all the physical damage today. Yeah, well, what do you expect? You got a cloud in Princess Peach. And Peach is not known for being a physical attacker, so... You know. Plus, Mario's the highest level right now, so... Anyway, man, they really have it out for Mallow today. I think they know it's because Mallow's the only one that can really do significant damage to them. Aside from Mario. Mmm. Gotta love that sound. The gauge up sound is just awesome. Alrighty, who am I fighting? Okay then, that's a, that's a derpy looking enemy. I don't like it, let's electrocute him. Hmm, feel the pain. How sad is it that Peach's Slappy Poo attack did far more damage there. Alright, let's go ahead and try gun. Ew. Hey, don't bomb it on the princess. That's rude. You're rude, sir. You don't puke on royalty. Especially not Princess Peach. Yeah, apparently that knocked Mallow out of his funk. Oh, there we go. Finally got that extra little bit of attack. Also, somehow Mario was unaffected by that sandstorm, which... You know what? Good for him. Mario's finally not afraid of you, sir. <laughs> Hi, Mallow. That was kind of funny. Mallow just kind of bounced right back in. Come on, Mallow, you're better than this. You have electricity. Ooh, and he got Mario. Now you like that. But, joke's on you, I can bring him back. Ha ha! Now I'm going to have fried calamari for supper. That's right! You bow to Mario. Ha ha ha! Now give me your EXP. Alright, Gino gets Gino World. Hell yeah. Now, Gino World's a freaking awesome attack right there. And you'll see why when we get a little bit later in the game. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Whew. Got some... I wouldn't say indigestion, but I got some acid trying to rise back up. Man, I tell ya. You guys can just enjoy yourselves. I have no business with you. Apparently I have business with this guy, though. Okay, I am back. We're gonna do a little bit of fighting, because... I'll be honest, I've been kind of trying to dodge attacks for a while. Because reasons. This is actually very unlike my normal... instinct in an RPG to level up like crazy, but... Eh, whatever. Oh, apparently there's an item here. Alright. Hmm. Uh, sir... Sir, can, can you... I wasn't the one that left. He left. Oh, man. Come on. Ah, there we go. Now, if you would be so kind as to stand right where I need you to... Said, stand where I want you to, you dumb fuck. Oops. Man, I cannot do basic jumps. What the hell is this? Maybe it's a good thing I didn't do Demon Turf today. Oh, and it was just a Coca Cola. How about that? Oh, and a battle. Well, I just accidentally found out the weakness of those bastards. Turns out it's electricity. Neat. How about that? Man, those things are fast. 
Well, joke's on you because I have the healing rainbow. I don't know what Mario's doing there. <laughs> so happy. Well, look at that. That was pretty refreshing. If I do say so myself, I'll rat, I'll rat, I'll rat. Now, uh, bye bye. Get out of here. Mm. Let it be known, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever encounter some undead creature, be sure you have something capable of shocking them. Super Mario RPG said that this is their weakness. And you can't and if you cannot believe a video game, then who can you trust? Get out of here. I already fought you. I don't know why you're still here. Go on, beat it. At least Hispando has finally leveled up. Oh, and Peach leveled up too. How about that? And got a new move. Congratulations, Princess Peach. But I don't care about your HP. I need you to have attack power. Thank you. All right, let's see here. Ooh, we are getting on up there in time. <laughs> what is that name? I love it. Unfortunately, he has not changed defenses because I can still just as easily defeat him using my super jump. Yeah. Also, a little hint of things to come. How about that? Mm. Get out of here. Man, you could at least have the dignity to jump to me, oh, bastard. Yeah, get out of here. You too. Little micro Goombas. Yeah, that's right. Alright, got the safety badge. This is a pretty useful badge. That I am going to go ahead and equip. Yeah, it defends against a lot of nasty statuses, but we're actually going to find something even better here shortly, so... Just stay tuned. I am very, very shocked that that did not trigger a battle. Ooh, frog coins. Look at that. It's not easy going green. Unless you're Mario, in which case it's very easy to go green. If by green you mean green with cash. For some reason I thought that it was going to take me to a very specific room, and it did not. Now I'm sad. <sighs> I'm tired of pallet swaps. Go away. You litter my path, and I kill you. I want original enemies. I guess that works. Alright, well, we're getting introduced to another enemy that is particularly weak to magic. Krusty. The crabs. The crabs, and they make Mario crabby. That's really all there is to it. Oh yeah, and we also are introduced to this thing. That's Luco. I don't know what its original name was, but I think it was actually just called Luco in that one too. Uh, that thing is kind of annoying because his main thing is that he likes using magic, so just keep that in mind. I mean, I really, really should have... Yeah, well. yeah, I really should have packed something other than these, but yeah, whatever. It's worth it. It's worth it because we have an enemy capable of many things. All of them obnoxious. 
Bada bing, bada boo. Hell yeah. Can you not do that attack? Oh god. We may... No, well, never mind. I was about to say, we may die here. <laughs> but I was happily proven wrong. Huh. <sighs> that almost got bad. Fortunately, we are about to see the solution to our problems. The safety ring. Hell yeah. The safety ring is pretty damn sweet because it protects you against instant kill attacks. It also will protect you against basically most forms of magic too, so it's a pretty sweet deal, all things considered. Hi. Y'all look friendly. Arr, what's going on here? Who are you? You don't know me? I'm Mario. Look at the mustache. What? You looking for a star? I'll let you see the stars. Arr. Really? Did you really just say that? You know what? Just because that was a cheesy ass fucking pun, you get to die. Get out of here. Go on and beat it, sir. I'm not even going to try that hard. Apparently he's weak to fire. Oh, to be fair, he is a sea creature, so I wouldn't imagine that he would be immune to fire. Peach, quit dying. I'm tired of fucking having to resurrect your ass. Keep this up and you're going to be freaking seeing fishes for real. Hmm. Yeah, well, thank you. I always like beating up the fish. Ah, oh, well, just keep laying them on me then. Hmm. Get out of here. That would have been funny if he gave me another one. Basically saying, Yeah, go ahead. Try to attack something that's not there. Yeah, they really, really want me to have HP this time. I don't know why. Oh, level 13, alright. I think Mallow's overdue for another attack, too. I think Star Rain's the next one, so... Oh no, it's Snowy. That one's gonna be awesome. Can't wait to have that one. Arr, you're stronger than you look. Especially since I'm kind of underleveled. Better warn the upper deck. Come on, mates! Yeah, y'all go do that. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. And close off this episode. Thank y'all for watching.